Hello, fourth grade. Welcome along. It's time for art. This week, we're going to be drawing a picture of three mean witches with their bubbling cauldron here. We're using the same combination of marker and pencil and similar techniques to what we did last time. The marker gives us the very dark parts of the picture, so we vary the tone, whether it's light or dark. It also gives us this kind of scratchy feeling, gives us a textural feeling. Okay, and then we use the pencil as well just to kind of fill in some grey as well. So it's a nice, nice way of working, nice combination. With this picture, we've got um, areas of light and dark because of the flames. So the flames on, uh, under the cauldron are of course white and then they're lighting up the, the witches um, from behind the cauldron, which makes the cauldron stand out. So we'll begin um, with the, the cauldron shape in the center of the picture. And we'll kind of sketch out all the other shapes around that. So something about that size is good. All right, so we've got flames. We've got some logs sticking out from underneath. Now we've got the, the overall shape of the three witches. Uh, they're going to be crowding around the cauldron. We've got to make sure we've got plenty of space for their pointy hats. So you can see how the, um, the intensity of the line 
um, in other words whether it's whether the line is kind of close together or far apart um, how that intensity creates dark and light areas of the picture and of course there are some parts of the picture where there's no marker at all and well one thing we're going to do actually is erase those guidelines that we had there first of all because that part of the picture should be completely white where the flames are and yeah now we're going to use the the pencil just to just to add in some more um, depth to add in like extra dark areas and just a little bit of definition on these logs and on the flames okay so remember what we did before where we used the pencil kind of on its side edge and that gives us a really nice um, coverage you have to make sure the pencil is sharp it's got a good amount of tip and you have to um, hold it in this kind of different way than normal but as I get closer to the source of light that's where I stop shading I still want that part to be I still want that part to be white And the picture's finished, just like that. Hope you like it. Um, it's, a, it's a very different style to the, the puppy that we did last time, but the same combination of marker and pencil um, gives us that um, tonal variation, doesn't it? The, the light and dark parts of the picture. All right, well, have fun and um, look forward to seeing your pictures.